If ever there was a disrespectful man in Kenya who does not observe or care about the rules of politics, it has to be a one Toto Shimanyula. The more I listen to this man, the more and more amazed I get by his misguided bravado. Just yesterday, this man has said things that I am very sure very soon he will be regretting. First up, he called PK Salasia a homosexual. Roll the tip. <laughs> Just follow up this guy Vizuri. He's going to be humbled very very soon. The things he is saying will cost him if he is not careful. And if you think that's bad enough, this same fellow recently said that Halwale's worker was killed by Halwale himself and that he was blaming the bull. Two autopsies have been done. They prove that that is not correct. This worker was indeed killed by a bull, not by Halwale because the deceased worker was allegedly sleeping with one of his wives. And now Toto is doubling down. In fact, by this point, we should say he's tripling down by saying that Halwale's wife, who was allegedly having an affair with uh, the deceased worker, sired three children who do not belong to Boni Halwale, and he wants a DNA test done. Here's the tip. Iliona yu kwatika yu matanga uliweza kuparade mabibi zako, na ukasema watoto wote wanakufanana wewe. Na mimi ndaka nukuchallenge Halwale, kama watoto wanakufanana vizuri, ningaomba kama nezekana, ungefanya DNA ya watoto. Ufanya DNA ndio ujue kwamba <laughs> ujuche unaongea kwa sababu wewe umesaidia watu wengi wamekusaidia watoto na hata mimi nasema kwamba kati ya watoto kuna watatu wanafanana na marehemu sasa wewe kiniambia kwamba unakuja kusema watoto wote ni wako mimi nashangaa sana unasema watoto wanakufanana <laughs> wonders will never cease moving along this same same fellow called toto is now saying that after autopsy 1 was done Autopsy 2 was done and they all confirm Halwale's story that this worker was indeed gorged by the bull. He is now saying that that is not enough. He wants the body of the deceased to be dug up and he wants to fly in a pathologist from South Africa to come in and counter check if truly this person was killed by a bull. How many autopsies does he need to have done? And also, the family has put the person to rest. They've spent a lot of money in that funeral. People have mourned and they have moved on. Even the dead has moved on to the afterlife. And you want to dig up the body. There's something wrong with this guy. But either way, here's the tip. Mimi kato toni mesema sita ogopa, nda kweleza halwale. Mimi niko na wewe hapa kwa hapa. Hata ni mwili mmezika. Mmezika mwili teari. Mimi nilikuwa nataka ni fly into South Africa. I look for the best pathologist. Akuje tufanye, tuangalie yu mwili vizuri. Na mimi nilikuwa teari, tutapambana. Hata kani kutoa yu mwili kwa takakaburi. Tutaitoa, turudishe mochari, tupate ukweli ya huye mtu mwanya mikufa. Kwa sababu nisema hivo. Wewe mwenye ulikuja katika mochari, ulibebana na pathologist odor. Pathologist unatembea na yu kimguide vile hiko. DCI wote umetembea na wao. Umetembea na DCI wote. So there is a serious problem with Toto Shimanyula. Anytime I hear him talking, he's disrespecting somebody. In fact, just the other day, Toto was saying how, because uh, there was an allegation that he's doing what he's doing in regards to attacking Halwale because he has vested interest and is trying to woo the governor. And Toto's response was that he is not hungry. He cannot go to the governor to look for some money here and there. In fact, it is the governor to go look for him because he is hungry. In other words, he's saying he has more money than the incumbent governor. So he's disrespected Halwale. And when I say Halwale, that also covers his wives, his kids, his political persona, you name it. Again, he has also disrespected the deceased worker and is willing to go a step further by ensuring the body is excavated once more. He has said the incumbent governor Fernandez, Akonja, he's the one to go to his office to borrow money. He has called PK Salasia a homosexual because he visits Mombasa. Is it now that everyone who visits Mombasa is a homosexual? It doesn't even make sense. So he's on a very long tirade of insulting leaders, trying to show he's the man, but he doesn't know he's just building up his own destruction. This is not the type of thing to do when you're a renowned businessman with a business that can be targeted. And as we speak, the repercussions are already bearing fruition. On your screen right now is an image of Boni Halwale and lawyer Dunstan Omari at the high court suing for 200 million in damages if Toto apologizes. And it goes up to 500 million if he does not apologize. Just look at that in damages. 200 million if he apologizes. 500 million if he doesn't. Truly, the tongue can really land people in trouble. And this guy is very likely to lose this case. I've never seen anyone defame everybody and anybody without any care in the world. This has to be the best case example. And I'll be watching to see how the high court rules in this particular case. It reaches a point money cannot help you any longer. And he's going to learn that lesson when he signs a check 
of 200 million 300 i don't know what the judge will settle on and if he fails to do so he'll be put behind bars it's going to be very sad but that's the predicament he's brought on to himself either way guys that's just what i had for you today if you enjoyed the video do drop me your comments in the comment section below i'll do my best to read them and to give you a response in the event you're here for the first time please go on and hit the subscribe button and if you're watching from a different platform just head on over to youtube search for david wafula hit the subscribe button you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature if politics is something you're passionate about this is definitely the one channel that you really really need to subscribe to all right guys adios Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adiós.